A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert, and He remained in the desert for forty days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to Him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the Gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the Gospel. The Gospel of the Lord Renewing the Face of the Earth In today's Gospel, we read of Jesus spending 40 days in the wilderness just prior to His public ministry. The desert, then, becomes a symbol of encounter between human weakness and strength from God. It is the locus of determining Jesus' divine vocation to proclaim the reign of God against the powers of Satan, represented by those who oppose its coming to completion. The desert was also the birthplace of Israel as the people of the covenant. The Hebrew people, who escaped from slavery in Egypt, passed through the test in the desert for 40 years and arrived as one nation into the promised land under one God. And in the course of Israel's history, when the people became unfaithful and forgetful of their covenant, the prophets would call Israel to recall their desert wandering to rediscover their identity. Likewise, in the desert, the great prophets like Elijah and John the Baptist replenished their faith and reawakened the people to the worship of the one true God. Indeed, Lent is the time for the desert experience to rediscover who we are before God and a time to say yes to God and no to Satan as Jesus did. The period of 40 days in the duration of Lent in some way represents the cleansing of our lives the way the world was cleansed of its sinfulness in the time of Noah. Noah's Ark was built to save those who take refuge in it. With this preaching, Jesus encourages the people to rebuild their lives and realign their good conscience with Him against the wiles of the evil one. By aligning with Jesus, we put to death anything of the flesh in order to rise with Him in the realm of the Spirit. Jesus is the new Noah who rebuilds the ark, the church, which will carry the new people of God to salvation. In Jesus, we find the pledge of God that the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all mortal beings. Jesus will be the bow in the clouds that will recall the everlasting covenant between God and all living beings. In Jesus, and with the Spirit of God, the waters of baptism will renew the face of the earth.